What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome to Escape the Pacific. This is a first look at this game. It's in early access currently on Steam. You can pick it up for about $10. And I saw it and I thought, well, to be honest, it reminded me of a game I played before, Stranded Deep, which used to be a really good game. So I thought, it's $10, it's 10 quid, why not? So we're going to start a new uh, new map, so we're going to go new. And one thing I find cool about this game, because I had a quick look to see what it was like, there is a lot of um, choices you can make. At the moment, some of them are locked, but as I said, this is early access. So you can get a random map, or you can generate your own using a seed. I'm going to go random because it's going to be random either way because I don't know any specific seeds. That's just so if your friend's playing, you can have the same map as them or whatever. And we're going to do beginner because, as I said, not exactly experienced at this game. And at the moment, Sandbox is the only available scenario, so we're going to do that. And customize. And this is our character at the moment. Gabrielle is not selectable, so you can only play as a man, David. You can choose his characteristics, lazy, athletic, or strong. Um, I think an athletic would be useful. So yeah, you get better running, better swimming, and well, yeah, it's just all around better, I would say. You can choose your time flow, which i got to admit I don't quite understand. I think that's the amount of time each day is, maybe. Uh, your day flow, which again, don't understand. Latitude, temperature, wind. You can customise your your um, environment, which is also really cool. And you have these graphs, which I don't understand because I am an idiot. So let's have a, let's start. Let's see what this game's like. All right, so here's the controls. You've got tab for the inventory, uh, C for the craft menu, hold C for quick craft menu. Build menu, quick build menu, skills, uh, tool belt, and map. Close that. So we need to go to land. Oh, there's some right there. That's fortunate because last time it dropped me in the middle of the ocean. I'm not kidding. I had to swim for 10 minutes to get to land. Like, seriously, that was not fun. And when I got there, do you know what was on the island? One tree and three crabs. Not kidding. That was not fun. I can't get over this rock. That's a bit stupid. Right, we are on land, which is a lot better than it was last time. So I'm just going to go around, going to have a bit of a scavenge, so I want uh, I want this rock, funny enough. And just see pretty much anything that stands out, I'm going to see if it has a usage. So like, let me give you an example of the next thing I find. So if I walk up to this tree, I can hold left shift, so this is a tall palm, and it tells me the usage. So a tall palm plus an axe equals wood. It's literally that simple. But the only problem is we don't have an axe, so we need to go into our inventory and see what we need to craft with. So crafting weapons, so tools, uh, primitive hammer or axe. So we need uh, three types of shards. Oh, that's about the rock. What, so you can just place an axe there. So you need an axe stone shard and a small stick and two primitive hammers to make that. Yeah, let's not do that right now. As I said, I just want to go around, have a scavenge, see what I can find, to be honest, because... I don't know, I haven't really had a proper look at this game. What was that then? I didn't know you picked these up. Seashell. Yeah, I'll have a... Washed up remains of underwater animals are used for decorative reasons. Uh, I'll pick it up for now, but I'll probably end up putting that down soon. I must say though, for an alpha game, this is like really nice, like the graphics of it. You can see all the islands we can go and explore, and I, I want to see what the sunset and sunrise and nights are like, because I haven't seen them yet, but I reckon they're going to be something special. One thing is important to bear in mind is this game has a weird mechanic where if you go into water and you're carrying stuff, the more stuff you carry, like the, the more collective weight it has, the worse your swimming will be. And it gets to the point where literally you'll walk into the water and just straight up drown. You can just walk straight to the bottom of the ocean because you're too heavy to swim. I want to go to that island over there. I just spotted that. That looks really cool. Uh, is there anything on this part of the island? There is. Can we do any... Ooh, what the hell is that? A medium car? Ooh, this is how you make rock shards. So yes, I want to use that. Uh, to do that, I need to go to my inventory. And I need to equip a rock. I'm going to pick that one. And let's just hit it. And it should split this into rocks, like that one. So it should give us three or four, hopefully. Ooh, four. 
five damn this we got lucky there so let's pick these up just so we're not gonna be able to swim for a while which is unfortunate hang on it's just really I have to press P to put it in my bag straight away that is annoying so I gotta press E then P and they're not even next to each other. okay I can't carry everything well that's annoying and I keep pressing the wrong button so this shell I'm sorry but you have to go it would be much more useful to have this carbon rock right can we pick up I don't think we can pick up anything so let's check in uh, oh we can carry one in our hand as well so that I am going to do and is there anything else in here? Ooh, that's what I was talking about with the crabs. They don't actually do anything at the moment. They don't hurt you, they literally just sit there. But if we press usage, we can see that a crab plus a rock equals a crab. So what that means is, hit, 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 dead crab. And then you can eat it with, mmm, yum, tasty crab. Right, now I'm slightly worried that I won't be able to get to this island because I'm too heavy. Let's have a look. The overall, yep, that's what I was saying. Oh god, oh god, oh god, no, 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 no. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, ah! Dying, drop. Oh, so... Kind of light enough, kind of. Yeah, this is not fun. I'm just gonna have to keep my head up in the air like that. Come on, come on, La give me land, give me land. Nearly there. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the bottom of the sea is actually really detailed. That's cool. In Stranded Deep, which is the game this reminded me of, uh, at the bottom of the sea there was like shipwrecks and they'd poke up out of the water and you could explore them to get tools and like flashlights and things you needed. I hope that's the mechanic in this. That is a flying fish. That's pretty impressive skill, that is. Ooh, I haven't seen this before. Yellow banana. Uh, yeah, I'll have some bananas. Unable to stash yellow banana. Really? Okay, they need to make it so you can carry more than three things. Drop you and pick up a yellow banana and put it to bag. And of course then it's going to drop the rock, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. Yes, it did. It is really annoying sometimes. I'm going to use this rock at some point to bash something or... I don't know, whatever. Okay, my hunger and health is okay for now. My thirst could be better and my tiredness. That's a good point. We need to build somewhere to sleep and something to get us water. Ooh, I didn't think about this. How do we even get water? Cooking, drawing objects, or simply to keep the surroundings warm. Yeah, that's fairly obvious. Build. Ah, oh, I don't even know how to get water. This is bad. Um, I don't know what this is all about. Mm, no, no idea. We don't have a tool belt, a backpack, or a side bag. I actually don't know how to build, how to get water. This is going to be an issue. Is there nothing here that helps us with water? Equipment, maybe. Simple bed, tool belt. That could be cool. Palm fay, frond, one, and ten primitive knives. Small side bag, same thing. Small stick. So in case you're wondering how we can get things like, like this requires more than we can carry. All you have to do is put all the things in one place and then stand near them. It's as simple as that. So that's the backpack. But that's not really what we need. What we need is something to get water. Uh, I think I might have just found out coconut, pick that up and how do I use a coconut how uh, green coconut usage so we need a knife or a stone or something um, ok the instructions could be a little bit clearer we haven't got a knife. How do I make a knife? Crafting. Tools. That's a basic knife, I believe. Primitive knife. Okay, what do I need for that? Let's pop it there. Uh, 
knife, stone, shard, small stick, and two primitive hammers. How do we build a primitive hammer then? Crafting. Primitive hammer. Uh, let's pop it quite near us. And what do you need for that? Hammer, stone, shard, small stick, small carving rock, or small rock. So what's that one I got? Is that a carving rock or a normal rock? Small carving rock. Okay, drop that there. Right, and then... So we've got a small camera. We need a stick and a hammer stone shard. I don't know how we get that. Hi, crab. Right, okay. We can't... I can't seem to find the stuff to build a knife. I don't know what a hammer stone shard is. Let's see if there's anything in the inventory or... I don't know, anything that could help us. So, what is the... We're after the primitive... Uh, so, yeah, we're after the primitive knife, ain't we? No, primitive hammer, sorry. Oh, I keep pressing that button. So, inventory, crafting... So, the hammer... Is... The primitive hammer can be used for fishing, finishing the building, or during crafting. And then there's the primitive axe, which is pretty much harder to make. Small stick, uh, fire saw even, and then a campfire. And that's just fire. But we need an axe to get the firewood. And we need a hammer to get the axe. But I don't know what a hammer stone shard is, and I don't know how we would get that. I'm just going to have to keep looking around, see if I can find something. Oh wow, that's very bright. Is that sunrise in this game? Oh wow. I lit I cannot see anything, it's just white. It's even brighter for me than it is for you guys, because OBS kills... It just kills it a little bit. That is so bright. It literally... I will trace the outline of the white. There's like a white orb all the way there. That's crazy. I don't know, perhaps it is the same for you guys. It looks similar. But either way, we need that hammer stone shard thing. And I've no idea how to get it. Okay, let's try this. Pick up this rock. And hit the carving rock. Ooh, ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, God, I got it. Thank God. Right, there is a... Where was that boulder? There's a boulder. There's one. So let's hit this a few times. There. That's all we need. That is all we need. Oh, we need both of the... Okay, let's take this back over here. It is getting dark. That is scaring me a little bit. So let's drop you here and drop is Q. I always forget that one. So back to the rock, which is over here. Pick up my stone. So, E, pick you up, and run back over here, and drop you. Right, so, how do I, how do I craft this now? Es no, not escape, tab, god damn it, hammer. So, we got the small, s no, we haven't got a small stick. Damn, how do we make the small stick? Actually, do you know what, I'm going to keep this small rock here. I'm going to run over here, and I'm going to... Ooh, what was that? Oh, that's another rock. I'm going to hit this a few more times. Just so I can get another one. Or two. That'll do. And then I'm going to put the rock over here where I won't lose it. So drop it there. Q. Always forget that button. And now this, I am going to pick up and drop here. And then where was that rock? There it is. So pick you up. And keep hitting this. I hope this works. So there's the hammer shard. Two, three. Axe stone shard. Alright, let's pick this up. Uh, is that the axe? I think that's the axe stone shard. And then let's... Oh, no. Don't. I'm stuck. Did I drop my axe? Drop. Damn it, I dropped it and I don't know where. Pum. Ah, this is bad. Dang it, I can't find it. And it's getting darker. 
Okay, small rock. You, I need you. Small carving rock. And drop you here. Mustn't press Q when I'm holding something important. Right, oh god, these controls are a bit sensitive. So, right, this is going to create a, a hammer shard. And then hit it more. And there's a stone shard. And I want that. And I mustn't drop it because I'm hoping. God damn it, come on. Let me. I bet you'll find the axe shard. Yep. I, f I hate my life. I hate this. At least I know where it is for the future then. Can I please say I can do something with this? How do I cut this down? I need an axe to cut this down. How do I get a stick? Can I cut this down? No. Nah. <laughs> I don't know how to get a stick. Um, can I find a stick, maybe? Hopefully. Drop that there. I don't need that for the time being. I need to find a stick. But I don't know where a stick would be. Okay, let's try going over here. Come on, give me a stick. Please, give me a stick. Look at that star over there. That is cool. Ooh, birds. There is a star over there that's twinkling. Like, this game has some awesome graphics. Look at this. This is nice. It's not actually as dark as I thought it would be. I thought it'd be way darker than this, but I still haven't found a goddamn stick, and I really need one. In fact, I can't even remember what I need the hammer for now, I just know I need one. This is not good. I need to start building stuff. I need to start stockpiling stuff as well. Oh my god, there's a weird effect behind that bird, like trailing behind it. Eh, don't drain. This game, the one thing I hate about this game is the swimming. It is the worst. What am I stuck on? Oh, I'm under the water. Uh, I'm going this way. I still don't know how to get that. I think I might just have to call this defeat on the hammer. Now I can't even find where I put it. Uh, where? Oh, is that it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, I'm, co I'm saying I can't do it. Not on this island. I'm going to have to swim to that island over there. God, please don't sound too heavy. I'm swimming to this island. God, I hope there's no sharks. I don't know. I haven't read anything about this game. There could be sharks or something in the water to kill me. I hope there's no jellyfish. But I, I really do like the graphics on this... Um, on the sky and the game. I don't know, there's some kind of weird grid texture on the sky. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if it's just my monitor, but I, I think it looks really cool. Like, it's so basic, but it's so effective. Oh god, don't look down. Do not look under the water in this game. There's so much fish, but either way, I am nah, don't go under the water. I'm, I'm almost certain that is how you die. You go under the water and something comes and you die. The whole objective to this game is to build a boat. So I'm guessing you can't swim to complete this game. Because you've got to escape the Pacific. That's the whole point in this. I don't know how you do that. I haven't checked. But yeah, you have to build a boat. And the boat leads you to safety, kind of. I also I need a campfire. I, oh, I should have checked my stats before I started. But even if I check my stats, I don't think I've got enough stuff to survive anyway like we are in like some dire situation right here like this is some Tom, Tom Hanks stuff right here I need a volleyball I need a friend who's a volleyball the sun's coming up the sun is coming up over to our left that looks really cool with the island I hope the island is right in the sunset where the sun comes up that'd be awesome but my question is is it too early to go insane and marry a crab because I've been swimming for 10 straight minutes and I'm still not there yet and it's really annoying. So, I don't know, just last few days get in with some grabs, you know. That, that That's probably not a good thing, actually. They're a bit pinchy. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. And there's our destination still in the distance. Like, seriously, this is taking forever. I need a boat. Like... Titanic could have made this voyage, for God's sake, this is taking forever. As far as I've worked out, the two bars at the top, the white one is, I think, stamina, and the red one is, like, health, maybe? I don't know, or oh, the white one could be air, 
it could be how much air you have, and the red one is stamina. Because the red one is going down very, very slowly. The white one seems to be going back and forth. I know. Either way, the only thing I do know for sure is that we're still not at this island. And I'm getting really thirsty, probably. In fact, if I start dying now, I'm going to go mad. The sun is now so bright, I cannot see the island. I think you guys can, but my screen is brighter than yours, and I cannot see where I'm going. I think I'm going the right way. Oh, I can just see something, actually. I can just see something in the corner. This game, they seriously need to tone down the brightness on that sun. The sunrise is not that bright. It needs to be more orangey and less just plain white. And here, finally, after 16 minutes of a straight swimming, land is just looming through the brightness. It is so nice. It is just, like, seriously, that... 16, well, 17 minutes has taken me to swim this day, and I'm still not there. Like, land ahoy, land miles away, even though you can see it. But if you think about it, it's taken more than half a day in the game's terms just to get here. And my thirst and hunger and health are dropping all this time that I've been doing this, so... I'll tell you one thing, if I get close to the land and a shark kills me or something along those lines, I am going to be so angry. I'm just going to rage quit. Like, seriously. The sunset looks nice, though. Now it's died down a little bit. Like, the reflection off the water, that is really good. They've done that really well. So my question for you guys is, and post your answer in the comments, would you get stranded on a group of uninhabited islands like this for one million dollars? That's my question for you. I know, would I? Probably not. Maybe if it was a bigger island with a lot of resources. But not something like this. But if it was like, sort of, one of the Hawaiian islands but with no people, oh, easy. Just live off coconuts and a luha dancing and I don't know, I reckon that'd be fun. Plus, imagine that million dollars when you get back, which, that's a lot of money. I am so close to death. Oh my god. I died. I died, and the island is right there. I... Yep, I don't know what to say. I am really annoyed at that. I literally just looked at my health bars about five seconds before I died. Like, I don't know what killed me. It should say what killed me. Either way, that is extremely annoying. Ah, uh, God damn it. Ah, well, at least I get, didn't get eaten by a shark. I died of starvation, which some would argue is much, much worse. Well, no, it's probably first, actually, because I didn't get around to having that coconut because I didn't have a knife. And I didn't have a knife because I didn't know how to craft one. They need to have more of an in-depth tutorial. That's my analysis of what I've seen so far. But something cool, which I saw earlier, they are planning a multiplayer. At the moment, you can't access it. But when this game goes comes out of alpha, because you can see in the corner it's an alpha, you can play against other players, and you can team up and stuff, I'm assuming. I think that'd be really good. I can't wait to see that. And I also can't wait for the next episode where we're actually going to survive. But, like, seriously, this is so bad. The island is right there. My body is probably going to drift onto that beach. Ah. Uh. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode. And, well, actually, make sure you let me know if you want the next episode, because this is just a first look after all. But I've, I actually quite like this game so far. The graphics on it are really good, other than the whole brightness thing. But let me know your answer to my question in the comments below. Would you live on an abandoned island for a year for $1 million? And I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.